Document Studio is a Google add-on that helps you create beautiful and pixel-perfect documents automatically. The add-on is versatile and power-packed with features. You can use Document Studio to generate any type of documents. These documents are automatically stored in your Google Drive in neatly organized folders. Document Studio includes Mail Merge, so you can automatically email the documents as attachments to people using personalized email messages. Document Studio gives you the power to set sharing permissions for the generated documents, so you can decide who gets to view, edit or comment on your files. The add-on is integrated with Google Cloud Print, so you can directly send the documents as soon as they are generated to the printer. The idea behind Document Studio is simple. You add the data inside a Google Spreadsheet and the add-on will create one document for every row in the Google Spreadsheet. In addition to Google Sheets, you can also import data from your existing Microsoft Excel or CSV files. And if you're using Google Forms, you can use Document Studio to automatically generate documents whenever somebody submits your form. The answers entered by the form respondent will be included in the finished document. Document Studio can generate documents in a variety of formats. It obviously supports the most popular PDF format, but you can also generate documents in Microsoft Office and OpenOffice formats. And if you plan to later edit the merged documents, you can choose to generate the documents in native Google formats like Google Spreadsheet, Google Docs or Google Slides. Document Studio is for everyone. Whether you're a small business, a school teacher, an event manager, or you work in the legal industry or manage the human resources department of your organization, you will find Document Studio useful. So now that you know what Document Studio is and what you can do with it, let's do a live demo and see what how to use this add-on. So to get started, install the Document Studio add-on from the Google add-on store, or you can go to documentstudio.pro and install the add-on. Now the first time you install the add-on, you will need to grant access to some of your data in Google Drive. Now this will allow the add-on to access your document templates as well as send emails on your behalf. Please remember that everything runs inside your Google account and not a byte of your data is shared or transmitted or uploaded anywhere. You can find a link to a privacy policy in the show notes as well. Okay, so let's get started. Now I'll go to my Google Drive and create a few folders. Uh, the templates folder will hold the templates uh, while the documents folder will store the finished merged documents. Now in the first example, this is a basic example, I'll show you how to create a business letter for your customers. So let's say you have tons of customers and you send them invoices and the invoices are due. So you want to send reminders to your customers asking them to pay the invoice. So this is what we'll use Document Studio for. First we'll go to Google Drive and create a new template. Now I can either create a blank document or choose one of the existing templates that you have in Google Drive. I'll choose the business letter. This looks good. Now this is just like a standard Google document except that it contains variables and these will be replaced with the merged data in the finished document. So for instance here the customer name is variable. The most of the content of the letter would be similar but that customer name would change in every letter. So what I'll do is I'll change the customer name to a variable and I do this by enclosing the name inside double curly braces. So whatever uh, text you put inside double curly braces becomes a variable. We'll insert a couple of more variables like you have the invoice amount and how many days since this invoice has been due. So we'll add two more variables to our template.
You can modify the colors, the fonts and other visual formatting of the template variables just like a standard Google document. So now that our document template is ready, I'll switch to my Google Sheet and add the data to the sheet that I want to merge into documents. The important thing you should remember is that your column headers in the spreadsheet should exactly match the variable names that you have used inside the document templates. Okay, so the columns are ready. I'll quickly add some data. I have already prepared the data in the background. So I'll just copy paste to this Google spreadsheet and I'll apply some formatting so that it looks good. Now if you look at the document template, we have a variable called days past due and it shows the number of days since that invoice has been due. However, if you switch to the Google spreadsheet, you will notice that we do not have this column in the spreadsheet. So what we'll do is we'll create a new column for that variable. Now we'll use the simple date diff uh, formula inside Google spreadsheet to calculate the number of days since that invoice has been due. Now we want to use this formula across all the rows in the spreadsheet. So uh, we'll simply copy paste the formula. Now this is obviously not the best approach. We should uh, consider using something like array formulas. But for this example, let's keep things simple and I'll simply copy paste the formula. Also, uh, this uh, spreadsheet has like 10 rows, but it is possible that your spreadsheet may have hundreds and hundreds of rows. So you don't want to send invoice reminders to every row that's in the spreadsheet, but you only want to send reminders to people for whom uh, the invoices have been due for more than 100 days. So in that case, we can make use of spreadsheet filters to only have rows where the due date, due date is more than 100 days. So our spreadsheet is now ready and we are ready to merge. So go to the add-ons menu and you'll find document studio in the drop down. So just choose open under the document studio menu. If you do not see document studio in the list, just go to documentstudio.pro and install the add-on. Now I'll go to the document merge section in the sidebar and uh, I'll choose the template that we have just created. Now when you, when you click the select template button, a nice file picker opens up and you have an option to select uh, templates of type spreadsheet, documents or slides. In this case, we have created a template inside Google Documents, so I'll just choose the template under the Google Documents tab. Now as soon as you pick a template, the add-on will scan the template and figure out all the variables that you have used in the template. Now this is very useful because you can now match whether the, temp the variable names in the template are matching with the column titles in the spreadsheet. So let's go to the next step. Here we need to specify the file name of the document that will be generated. You can use simple names like file.pdf or something like that. But you can also use variables. So for instance, I want the file names to have my customer ID and customer name so that it's easier for me to figure out which file belongs to which customer. So what I'll do is I'll just put invoice ID and enclose that inside double curly braces. So that means it's a variable and it will be replaced with the actual value when the merge is done. You have a variety of export formats to choose from, but I'll use the most popular one, which is PDF. Next, we go to the mail merge section. Now, in addition to generating documents, Document Studio can also email the documents to people you specify inside mail merge and these will be personalized emails so the body of the email message can be personalized just like you're personalizing a document for this example i'll enable mail merge and then you have the option to create your email template so when you click the email template button a nice visivig editor opens up where you can compose your email messages in rich text as obvious you can also use variable names inside the email body here and here, instead of typing the variable names, you have a nice little drop down where you can select the variable name and it will be automatically inserted into the body of the email message.
you can use the insert image button inside this email editor to quickly insert images inside your email body. Now comes the most interesting part. Now when you are uh, picking up email recipients, you can either write down your email recipients as abc at example.com, put commas and add any number of email recipients. Or if you have the email address as a variable field, you can just select it from the drop down. Next, we'll specify the subject, and here again, you can use variable names. Okay, so everything looks good. I'll just save the email template. I'll skip the Google Forms section because this is only relevant when you are merging data from Google Forms. Next we go to the Google Drive section. Now here we will pick the Google Drive folder where the files would be saved. You can also create uh, folders inside the parent folder and uh, these can be dynamically gener generated based on the data in your Google spreadsheet. So if uh, suppose if you want to have separate folders for every customer, you can just put the customer name in the path and put enclose that inside double curly braces. Next we go to the file sharing section and here you can put email addresses or variable fields and the files will be instantly shared with the people you have specified in this list. And this also supports variable fields as well as some special values like anyone which means the file will be public or you can use anyone within domain and people inside your domain will have access to the file nobody outside you can find a link of all the supported values inside the show notes next comes google cloud print and here if you want to print the merged documents as soon as they are created you use this section we'll skip it and finally we come to the save section and this is where we instruct the program to merge our documents. So here we have a few options. You can either merge the documents now or you can set up a cron job or a trigger and it will auto run in the background and merge documents. So this is useful if you have some other add-ons, some other process that is adding data to your Google Sheet and you want to merge the data without having to manually run it. So in this example, I'll just choose merge now and then choose the run button to start merging the documents. So you get a nice little progress window in the lower right corner so you know what's happening behind the scenes. Okay, so the merge program has completed and if you look at the spreadsheet, it has added a few columns so you exactly know what it did, where the documents are. And if I switch to my email and go to the send items folder, you see that the emails have gone out and the PDF files are sent as attachments. So this example would have given you some idea of document studio. In the next example, I'll show you how to create a simple badge, something like this, that contains the QR code, the employee name, as well as the picture of the employee, all with Document Studio. Thanks.